Time for the penultimate fight of the night. The tale of the tape brought to you by Dave & Buster's, the only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports. And look at the experience advantage for Zach Dusha, 18 and 8. Neiman Grace is 6-0, but hasn't fought that frequently. With the official introductions, here once again is Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA, presented by Miller Live. Now, features tonight's cult main event, three five-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Brought to you by Spike Sports. We introduce the blue corner. At five foot ten, weighing in 170.3 pounds. Making his Bellator debut, he enters with 18 professional victories, eight defeats. He fights out of Lawrence, Kansas, Zach Craig. And across the cage is adversary fighting out of the red corner at six foot weighing in 170.5 pounds undefeated as a professional he enters with six victories no defeats by way of Rio de Janeiro Brazil he fights out of New York New York introducing Neymar Gracie in charge of the action, your referee, Kevin McDonald. So Kevin McDonald Hang will up. oversee this fight. Naming Gracie, of course. Many members of the Gracie family in attendance, including Hoist Gracie, the Hall of Famer. Ready to fight? Ready to fight? Let's go. And the bell and round one. Fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. Cheers, it's Miller time. Naming Gracie in the red gloves. Zach Fuchsia in the blue gloves. And Fuchsia so low in his stance, he's immediately thinking takedown defense. Three of Gracie's six victories have been via first round submission. Six and zero, oh and three and zero oh since dropping the welterweight in February of 2015. Takedown defense being exhibited by Busha early on, pummeling along the fence. Don't expect Gracie to give up on it. He's gonna keep working that body lock and take down circling around to the back. Already has That's exactly Zach where he didn't yes. want to be. We just saw Hoist Gracie, and uh, well, he was Naaman's childhood hero. And Naaman Gracie has taken Busha to the canvas. Trapped the arm as well. Look at that. And this could be over quickly. Has his arm free, but still in a ton of trouble. Yeah, this is this is bad. Dry, not sweaty. Four minutes left in the round. Plenty of time. Damon Gracie would love to work his way into title contention, fishing for the rear naked choke. And speaking of the Bellator welterweight title, Douglas Lima defends it against Rory McDonald January 20th at the Forum in Los Angeles. Gracie believes that Rory will emerge victorious in that fight. I think Lima has something to say about that. I was going to say, That's Douglas be a great Lima. Fight who actually worked with Gegard Mousasi, and Mousasi in his Bellator MMA debut still to come, but what a fight it is going to be to kick off the year, and look at what Naaman Gracie doing to Zach Busha here. But you notice what he does, he goes for, for a second, it's not there, he switches, lets it go. Doesn't waste energy. Doesn't waste any energy. It's a slow burn kind of fight. 24 years he's been training the family business, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And as you mentioned, Jimmy, all about the position for the submission, the patience. Yep. And he's got his hooks in. He is firmly controlling Zach Fuchsia here in round one. It's like watching those those videos in the Under animal magnetic. kingdom. Yeah. In the, the, you know, the That's animal. Something that was born to do this. Exactly. That's what it looks like. Fuchsia trying to defend, doing a good job. But so far, no way out of this position. Neiman Gracie all over him. Yusha's never been submitted. He's 18 and 8 overall. And Bellator <laughs> MMA fan. Not good when you have a Gracie on your back. 
In other news, water is wet. Yep. Oh, but Buchard doing his best to try to reverse. On Naaman Gracie, a minute and a half remaining in the opening round. Again, we talked about it. Busha does have nine submission wins, six knockout victories, 33 years of age. Look at the twist on the legs, though. Man. Busha just can't straighten his hips out and get his posture back because Neiman has him twisted up in this uh, the body lock. Yeah. The body triangle. A minute remaining, and Busha's no rubber guard. Escape, yes. Well, new school. As well, you know, the evolution. And now the Oma Plata. Gracie looking for his first Oma Plata victory, a rarity in MMA, and then it quick, quickly transitions. And it's so beautiful to watch. Really, these guys have been Gracie's been inverted heel hook. Canvas than a Picasso or Rembrandt, and it, they really, it, it is a work of art. It's yeah. the art in mixed martial arts, as far as I'm concerned. Under 30 seconds left in the opening round. Good scramble. Going heel hook again. Could straighten it out of knee bar. A lot of options from here, and all of them are dangerous. Standard heel hook. And Busha delivering some fists to disrupt Neyman Gracie. Gracie looking for that knee bar, but time will run out here in the opening five minutes. Clean break, guys. Great crowd on hand, and this is the 15th time that Bellator MMA has been at this venue. As we get set for round number two, body kick by Busha. He's in the blue gloves. Gracie in the red. How did you score the opening round on your unofficial scorecard, Jim? Well, easy for Neiman Gracie. I went 10-9. I didn't go 10-8. Definitely a 10-9 round. Wouldn't surprise me, Judge went 10-8 on that. It was completely one-sided. Head kick by Gracie now. Uses to close the gap. Looks for the takedown, but now Busha defending. I have to take uh, those words. Take yeah, clean, bro. Eat. I know. I can feel the guilt coming off of you right now. <sighs> oh, I know you've been eating terrible here. But, you know, it's a casino. There's great restaurants here. Just just eat. We, yeah, we eat. That's when I have lunch. I don't, I don't even feel bad, bro. Did my days. I'm not cutting weight anymore, man. Yusha tries to defend the takedown and unable to do so as Gracie. He's now looking for his back. Turn. Exactly. It's not just a takedown. You have to remember with the Gracies, it's not just a takedown like a wrestler would do it. It's waiting for that moment for you to turn your back. He'll jump and put hooks in when they're on the feet. Doesn't matter to him. Oh, got away with the grab there. Busha was holding on to the advertising. And there's Gracie again. Takes the back. Looking to put the hooks and immediately goes for the rear naked choke. Two hooks in. Back where he started. How do you defend this, Jimmy? Don't get in it. I mean, I mean is there mean, any, I agree, I understand, but I mean, I know that, any... that's genius commentary, <laughs> yeah. but it's but so it's hard once you're in this position. Now, what are you worried about? Yeah. You're worried about your neck. You're worried about the choke, but man, can you have a body like, especially when someone has legs like Neiman Gracie? Mm. What he wants to do is put his, the flat of his back on the ground, turn toward Neiman Gracie, you risk giving up mouth, but that's the only way out of this position, kind of scrape Neiman off of his back, but yeah, well easier said. said than done. Yeah. So much easier said than done. The problem that he's getting into this is his tendency to defend the takedown by turning his body. That gives Neiman Gracie his back. And you know, that's really the 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 rub of taking on a guy like Neiman Gracie who's been grappling his whole life. Oh, What's the advice in between corners if you don't already know how to deal with this? He's got him in the neck and that's it! More of a neck crank than a rear naked choke, but it's a submission. And much to the light of Hoyce Gracie, Neiman Gracie improves to 7-0 with his sixth submission win. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a neck crank. Official time, 2 minutes, 27 seconds into round number two. The winner by submission still undefeated Neyman Gracie. And Naaman Gracie gets to talk to our Jimmy Smith. I'm here with your winner, Naaman Gracie. Naaman, 
You had had his back. Round one, round two, hunting for the rear naked choke. Did you make a conscious decision to go for that neck crick because you committed to it 100%? So before saying anything about the finish, I want to thank my opponent because he took this fight on short notice, you know? My other opponent, he backed off the fight in a week and he took this fight in a week notice. He's a true warrior. The guy has almost 30 fights. So everybody, please, a round of applause to him. Thank you, Zach. So, with the submission, I, I wasn't able to sink the hand under, under his neck because of those gloves. So I needed to switch for something else, and I went for the neck crank. The guy has almost 30 fights and never been submitted, and I was able to do it. I'm really happy. I see your father's shirt honoring Halls Gracie. You have family here in attendance. That's the past. What's the future for you and your MMA career? Carry on in that name. The future is to keep representing, to keep the legacy alive. So it doesn't matter how many years pass by, we're always going to have a grace representing. I want to send a abraço to everyone in Brazil, the pessoal da Fox Fight Club, todo mundo aí no Brazil. My amor, I'm going to casa. Nossa filha tá chegando. Te amo. We can't wait to see you again. Neymar Gracie, ladies and gentlemen, give him a hand.